Symphogay is back, sort of, at least. Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with the specials for Symphogear G. Um, I'm not going to say the full thing because it's like just so many words. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Symphogear G was the last season that we reacted to a while back. And we're not getting into GX just yet, but there are specials in between the seasons from here on out, or basically just after each season going forward. And I didn't really have too much of a plan for when I was going to do them. It's like, do I do them when a season ends? Do I do them at the beginning of the next season before I start, you know, episode one? What's the plan here? I didn't really know. Like I said, I didn't really have a plan. So I kind of just decided to just do it. <laughs> so it's a, it's kind of a random extra reaction today, but, you know, here we are. So there's two specials. They're about, like, half length compared to, like, a regular episode. Um, and I, I don't know what to expect. I've been told that these specials are canon for what that's worth. <laughs> and I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I I don't know if they're, they're going to be important cuz being canon does not necessarily mean they're important. Um but like I said, I guess we'll see. I I I have no context for what to expect here. But we're going to get into it. So, I guess let's not waste any more time uh, and just get to these reactions. Cutting in here real quick to remind you of all the awesome content we have on the channel. Between Monday and Friday, we have a plethora of awesome series reactions with two on Wednesday. We also have movie reactions every Saturday and Sunday. I do pre-record them during the week, but I upload them on the weekend. And don't forget all the gaming content we have both on this channel and the Secondary Princess of Gaming channel. We have Horizon Forbidden West every other day and Baldur's Gate 3 every single day on this channel, while we also have Near Automata every Saturday on the other. And don't forget to click the link down in the description below to get to today's reaction. I redirect it just due to copyright reasons. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more awesome content such as this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get on to the reaction. And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So first off, right off the bat, I think it's just because G is a little fresher in my mind right now. Uh, for a lot of obvious reasons. But I think the second, I'm going to say batch of shorts, because let's be honest, that's basically what it was, um, was better. But I also think it's not, it's not just the timing of it all, because I've seen G more recently, obviously. I think it's also a matter of, I think it felt more focused. The first, the first special, all the shorts in that were kind of just all over the place and felt like it was giving us like very basic shit that didn't really matter as much. But the second one, those shorts felt a lot more, they didn't seem important still, but they felt like they were something more at least. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, but outside of that, so let's talk about this. So these two specials are basically a grouping of shorts um, that take place at different uh, times in and around the uh, seasons. The first special shorts take place between 
the events of the first season and G. The second takes place during the events of G, like concurrently with season two, um, at, at the various points of the season and everything. And both of these specials seem to focus mostly on the characters just living, I guess. It, it, it's like non-combat stuff, and it's just them interacting with each other randomly, having random little comedic moments and everything. And, and none of it is important at all. Like, you could never watch these and you wouldn't miss a thing. It just basically adds a little bit of slight character depth to to them um, without really doing much else. But the problem, there's a couple problems I have with it. Let, let's start with the most obvious, the pacing. Like I mentioned in the reaction, the pacing for this is, let's be honest, shit. It's terrible. You have a, okay, we have a single, like, 13, almost 14 minute special, right? In that special, there's, like, what, 15 shorts? Something like that, in total. And they're, and they're split up by, like, oh, this is right after this event, parts one, two, three, four. <laughs> Um, and then and then you'll have like one of these shorts be like, oh, it's just a one parter. There's just one short that takes place after this event. And then it goes into another three part uh, one. It's like, why aren't the multi part ones just a single short that just, you know, lasts a little longer? You didn't need to separate those because they literally tie into it. There's a couple of them where it's like, uh, uh, for example, the one where Ogawa comes in to tell, um, um, oh god, name is blanking in my mind. The blue-haired one, I can't think of her name right now, what the fuck? <laughs> but when he comes in to tell her, like, oh, you, we've been asked about the quiz show and stuff, and he's like, well, let me quiz you and stuff. He, like, asked her one question part one ends, it goes to part two, and it's just more questions. Like, you didn't need to cut there. That could have been an entire thing. Cutting there made no sense. It didn't add anything. You didn't need to do that. It, it, it was completely illogical to do it that way. I want to say Shirabe, but I know that's not right, because that's a uh, goth lolly Hatsune Miku. Or in this one, goth, uh, chibi Hatsune Miku. Um, I'm trying to think. Hibiki, Chris, I think it begins with an S, though. No, it's a T, it's Subasa, right? Hold on. This is gonna bug me. <laughs> Sorry for this little interruption in the afterthoughts, but this is going to bug me. Oh, I should probably put Simfo gear. Yeah, Subasa Kanzanari. Yeah. <laughs> I I got there. I got I I got there. But yeah, um the pacing and everything, the way it's like these are separated, it's like you didn't need to do it this way. If you had wanted to have like a uh, uh, um this little short stuff about like oh after the events of the moon it's like you didn't need to separate that into like what three four parts however many it was you didn't need to do that that felt completely pointless you could have just kept that as one short as part of this special because again all, all the time it's a multi-parter it's like it you did not act you absolutely did not need to cut that into separate uh parts every time it's a multi-parter it could have been one part and it's just like you did not need to do it the way you did it it just it, it felt it felt completely needless and it just made the pacing of this feel more off on top of that 
the fact that these specials are just a series of like random shorts that don't really seem to have much of any notable relevance to anything and are just the characters having silly interactions it's like what's really the point of this it, it, it's the same kind of thing to me as like when some of these anime out there have like these chibi school versions or whatnot like naruto had one of those with rock lee attack on titan had like a chibi version and it's like why why does this need this who is this appealing to i don't understand it it, it, it makes no sense to me because it adds nothing to the series and even if this one is like again even if the events of this are canon it's like i i bet you none of this is going to matter you could not watch this at all and it would not affect your enjoyment of the rest of the series and, and most notably the next season it, it, it in fact watching this will probably not have any effect anyway because it won't connect to it at all i bet you anything like anything that would technically connect is probably just stuff we already knew from the previous seasons anyway like miku having a massive crush on hibiki it's like we knew this it just was made a lot more blatant here that's the only thing but even then, it's like, even if in the next season it was shown to be much, much more blatant, it's like, that wouldn't have been, like, a weird thing to do. And if, and if we hadn't watched this, it, it wouldn't have, like, been bad. It wouldn't have not made sense. It would have still worked just as fine. This was not needed for that, or anything else I, that I can tell. It just, it feels like just a bunch of random things. And on top of it, my other biggest issue with this is if this is supposed to be canon, that's a problem. Because literally every character in this is flanderized to hell. And, and if you somehow do not know what the term flanderization means, it comes from the character of Flanders from um, Simpsons. And it's a trope within media, um, mostly animation, but it can be done in like video games and stuff as well. Um, but it is a term that means a character is being like, a, a character's personality is reduced to like a singular trait that they have, and it's exaggerated to all hell and back. Basically, you take a character, you take like only one of their traits hyper exaggerate it and that's what flanderization is and that's exactly what we had here with hibiki subasa chris everyone was super flanderized they were boiled down to a singular trait of theirs it was hyper exaggerated these characters don't act like this not to this degree it's it's ridiculous so if these are supposed to be considered canon then that's a problem because the characters are being written poorly in that case mind you um if this isn't can i thought you i, I was told that these are canon i believe i was told that the the specials that take place or that are you know that are between seasons I, I believe i was told they're canon if this is canon that's not good um because again the way they're written is not good it's pretty poor actually these characters are just not like this they're they're not these one note hyper exaggerated caricatures that's one of the reasons I, I like Symphogear, because these characters have depth to them. They have a lot more, you know, conflict and and emotion and personality and whatnot. To reduce them down to these one-note caricatures, it's it almost feels insulting. 
it feels really off. And none of the characters feel like themselves because of it. And I think I, I think the ones that were the worst off were Chris. Honestly, Chris was like very unlike herself. And Subasa. Chris was like so so terribly portrayed here. Like they basically took her entire like fish out of water kind of idea because she's like the newer member of the main trio and they dialed it up to 11,000 and and took away every other bit of her personality and character. And with Subasa, it's just like she's a she's turned into like a little bit of a weirdo who tries to act cool and it's like that doesn't feel like Subasa at all it's like that's maybe one small part of her but that's not how her character is normally portrayed in the main series and it's just like i, I don't know uh... <laughs> I'm just, like, really thrown off by this. Honestly, I don't think this was good. Like I said, the second special was better than the first, but I, I don't really think either of them were good. If this was what I saw first of this series, I would have never watched this show. If I'm being completely honest. If the entire series were like this, I would have dropped it. This is just, it's not good in my opinion. It's not fun to watch. It's not entertaining. It's just annoying and confusing. Like, I could see some people possibly seeing this as like cute or funny or whatnot, but I don't. Because I And I think a lot of it is I'm too distracted by how out of character everyone is. It, it's, it's distracting me so bad that I'm not able to, like, view it as anything more than that. I don't see any entertainment value or, or cuteness or, or funniness in it. Because my mind is, like, entirely focused on how poorly written the characters are in this case. And maybe that's just me, and I fully admit that could just be me. That could just be how my mind works. I'm fully aware that my mind does not work the same as a lot of people's. And that this might not be issues that a lot of fans of this series have. But for me, it's not just an issue, it's a very big issue. Because my mind tends to inflate problems like that. And it's not going to like kill my interest in this series. I want to make that very clear. Uh, it, it's just for the sake of my viewing experience with these specials, it's like... I, I really didn't like this. I I really didn't. I might need to get back to, I, I might need to get back to Symphogear. I might need to get to GX sooner rather than later just to kind of get this like vision of this of these characters out of my head. Just to get back to, you know, the good depiction of these characters. Because it's like... I I don't want to just... I, I don't want to think about, like, Hibiki or Chris or Tsubasa or any of them with this flanderization. It, it's, it gives me a headache, honestly. Like, I'm not even kidding you. My head's starting to thump a little. Just thinking about this.
I I don't like it when shows do a lot of this stuff. The, again, the chibi like school life or you know goofy little side series. I, I think especially for a series that is m mostly serious or at least has some really intense serious stuff in it this kind of thing just feels entirely off-brand with what the show usually is again like with attack on titan or naruto or etc and then all of these shows have had some level of comedy to them attack on titan not anywhere near as much but you know to a degree, there's comedy in all, in them, but that that's not the same as like whatever th this is, or that Rock Lee Chibi series, or the weird thing they did with Attack on Titan as well. It's like shows just need to stop. If you're gonna make like shorts or specials, that's fine, that's great, but do it in the original style, for one. And don't flanderize the characters. Make them act like the characters act. I understand, okay, the style of this is probably down to budget. I get that these were probably done really cheap because this style is really cheap to do. I understand that. I get that. It saves money. Sure, fine, whatever. But it's like, these are not long and you could just do it in the regular style and keep it like cheaply made still <laughs> and, and if this isn't gonna be like important to any real degree which it doesn't seem like it's going to be it's like then just why do it in the first place why waste money on something that's not even gonna be any notable level of relevant. I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's just me. Maybe these issues are just like things that bother me, but they do bother me. They genuinely bother me a lot. And I don't think it's something I'm just going to get over or anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like this is... This is just like messing with my perception of these characters and stuff. Like I have, I have, I have, I've had no plans of necessarily getting to Sinful Gear again, like right away. Um, like I, none of the shows I'm I'm reacting to would like be close enough to ending at the moment, especially the, uh, the one um, donation reward show we're currently doing, which you know is the one that would be replaced here because Sinful Gear is a donation reward show. But. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to push this forward in the line a little bit. Again, if, if for no other reason than just to make it so that when I think of these characters, my mind doesn't go back to this and instead like thinks about like the characters as they're meant to be written. We'll see. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not going to promise that, oh, we're going to get to the next season of Simpho Gear soon. I'm not going to say that. Because I don't know that. And I'm not going to promise something that might not end up coming true. But, yeah, it's like, I just, I, I did not enjoy this. If you enjoy these, that's fine. That's completely valid. But... I, I'm allowed to have my opinions as well, and I didn't like these pretty much at all. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. For now, I'm Connie. I'm signing off. See y'all next time.